Hi, I'm Danielle Johnston, and I'm an occupational therapist with Alberta Health Services in Camrose, Alberta, Canada. Our team has completed a study entitled A Pattern of Visual Motor Integration, Visual Perception, and Fine Motor Coordination Abilities in Children Being Assessed for Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. Occupational therapists and physical therapists complete motor evaluations as part of Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder, or FASD, assessments for children. There are many different areas of motor skills that can be assessed during FASD evaluations, including gross motor, fine motor, visual motor integration, and graphomotor. An assessment tool commonly used in FASD evaluations is the Beery Bactenica Developmental Test of Visual Motor Integration, called the Beery for short. It's commonly used for several reasons, including that it is quick and easy to administer, and because it assesses two areas of motor, visual motor integration and fine motor coordination. In addition to the two motor portions, it also assesses visual perception. The visual motor integration portion is considered the primary assessment and the visual perception and fine motor coordination portions are considered supplementary assessment that evaluate the component parts of visual motor integration. Visual motor integration is considered a more complex skill than either of its component parts and it has been suggested that it is very uncommon for visual motor integration scores on the BIRI to be lower than either visual perception or fine motor scores. When using the BIRI during FASD evaluations, the visual motor integration booklet is consistently used, but the use of the supplementary portions of the assessment is less consistent. In some cases, in order to save time and maximize efficiency, the visual motor integration portion of the BIRI is the only portion administered, and it is assumed that visual perception and fine motor coordination abilities are higher than visual motor integration results. Our diagnostic team routinely administers all three portions of the BIRI-6, and clinically, we notice that in children being evaluated for FASD, often fine motor coordination abilities were the lowest rather than the expected visual motor integration. We wondered if children with prenatal alcohol exposure, or FASD, may have a different pattern of abilities compared to the general population. So the objective of our study was to describe the visual motor integration, visual perception, and fine motor coordination pattern of abilities in children with prenatal alcohol exposure being assessed for FASD. We found that of the three areas assessed by the BIRI, children with FASD and children with prenatal alcohol exposure had the most difficulty with fine motor coordination, followed by visual motor integration. Visual perception skills were found to be the most advanced. This study suggests that children with FASD and children with prenatal alcohol exposure have a different profile of abilities of visual motor integration, visual perception, and fine motor coordination abilities than the profile reported for the general population. Fine motor coordination tasks are more difficult for the children with FASD, while in the general population, visual motor integration abilities are the most difficult. So why did we want to do research in this area? As clinicians on a diagnostic clinic, we are continually attempting to streamline processes so that our assessments are as efficient and concise and accurate as possible. By identifying common areas of weaknesses in children with FASD, we are able to narrow down assessment tools to the ones that are most likely to identify areas of difficulty. Recommendations based on areas of need for strategies, supports, and interventions mitigates functional deficits as research has shown that receiving a diagnosis and connecting families and children to supports is a protective factor to FASD. Ultimately, we want to provide children being assessed for FASD the most accurate evaluation possible with the most relevant and impactful recommendations. Conducting studies to identify which assessment tools are the most relevant for this population is an important topic. Thank you.